I'll see what the uh, newspapers are in Nigeria this morning with very interesting headlines. Interesting, <laughs> depending on what you see and how it comes to you. All right, I have in the studio a, a lawyer and public affairs analyst, Jide Ologun, as well as journalist, Ifi Onyegbule. It's nice to see you both. Good to Good see morning. you. Thanks for having us. All right, uh, let's begin with uh, the Vanguard newspaper. Excuse me now, that's where we start from this morning. Ministerial nominees, new faces as Senate pledges stiff screening. And begin screening today, it says, no more bow and go for ex-lawmakers. Uh, Buhari rejects 18 ex-ministers, retains 14. Seven states have two slots each. And jubilation in Kwara, Akwaibom over Mohammed Saraki and Ababio, uh, respectively. You have all that on the front page of the Vanguard newspaper. Moving now to the Nigerian News Direct. That's where we are right now. Ministerial nominees, Senate to screen Oga, Fashola, Aribishola, um, uh, 39 others. Uh, postpones recess. You have all that on the front page of the Nigerian News Direct. Okay. From there, let's go to Daily Trust now. Daily Trust is where we are now. Senate begins screening of ministerial nominees today. And senators postpone recess for exercise. List uninspiring. That's the PDP is uh, saying that, lending their voices to that. Blueprint is where we go next. Uh, women... NYCN APC Youth Kick as Amechi Fashola Pabu Saraki make ministerial list. A screening begins today and Senate, Senate postpones recess. Uh, we are shocked. Uh, CIS LAC saying that, and uh, that's a group. Uh, list merit loyalty driven. BMO is saying that, and it's uninspiring. The PDP is saying that. You have all that on the front page of the blueprint newspaper. The nation is where we go next. Arik Bishola, Fashola, Onu, others on ministerial list. Alashu Adura, Mamora, Mohammed, Bemi Saraki, Adibayo, Dari listed all on the ministerial list. You have that on the front page of the nation newspaper. The Nigerian Tribune is where we go next now and that's the last uh, point of call right now. Uh, ministerial nominees, Senate suspends uh, recess to screen Keamo, Mamora, Apabu, Magashi, Dari, 38 others, and Ogbe, uh, Dalong, Kachiku, Dan Ali, Adewale, Udoma, 11 others dropped. Ministerial list uninspiring, waste of time. PDP is saying this. Uh, some ministerial nominees are fantastically corrupt. Yekase is saying this. <laughs> and uh, nominees. Uh, they are anticipated. You get that analysis, the breakdown of all of that, uh, what they are, what they, have, what they, what uh, their pedigrees and uh, qualification and all of that, and what they have been before. You find all that in the breakdown of the news analysis. Okay, let me uh, bring my analysts in right now. Nigeria waited. Nigerians waited. Although they didn't wait the way they waited in 2015, but they waited for so long and the list is out. Mm -hmm. But let me start with uh, GD on this before I, I come to you, Ify. Uh, I wonder how inspiring this is to you or how surprising or not surprised are you when it comes to when you saw the array of names on the ministerial list? Eventually, the list came out earlier than it did in 2015. Mm -hmm. And my focus is really on the essence of having ministers. We have ministries in the country to deliver governance services to the people, already headed by permanent secretaries. And the ministers are political appointees to come and supervise what is going on and ensure that these services are delivered. <coughs> and I have said it, you know, this appointment should be based on merit as claimed. And that means there must be a leadership vision. What do we want to achieve? For example, let me isolate the Federal Ministry of Power. We know that right now the president already signed a deal <coughs> with Germany to improve power generation and supply in Nigeria, to scale it up to 7,000 uh, megawatts by 2021, then around 11 or uh, above by 2023. So I expect that when the minister in charge steps in, he takes over that vision to run with it. Because, I mean, the advantage for this regime is that they are incumbent. 
they've been there since 2015, they should be conversant with the challenges in the country. And the concern of many, you know, includes the fact that is this lease compensatory or mm. complementary? If right. it's complementary, it's to complement the efforts of governance, which is to enhance the fortunes of the people. So right. let's see how the Senate we turn up with their screening. All right. And, uh, uh, it, begins, it begins today. So we hope to see how uh, things play out there. But uh, it's almost as good as done, maybe, if you have to put it that way. If he, I um, wonder how, are you surprised uh, when you, um, you look at the names on the... <laughs> I'm not surprised. Okay. Um, to say that I was expecting anything different would mean that maybe I'm just new. Maybe I just dropped from somewhere <laughs> Why you know, so? into Why Nigeria. So? You Why know, sometimes so? some things are very predictable, but I must also give it to the president. Some of the persons that you would have thought would come back He's actually done away with them, one of which is the minister of, uh, former Minister of Agriculture. Right. You know, for me, I thought that he needs to go spend time with his grandchildren at home. You know, just go relax. You've been there since <laughs> the 60s, uh, even before some but of us But it's almost born. the same for many others, too. Uh, there are others who have been in the system, too, all the Yes, while. but he's been there for quite some time. So I think, yeah, if he has a son or a daughter who can do something, why don't you push that person forward? But Is I it think, about the age? I think, yeah, sometimes it has to be. Because you look at it, there are some things... But well, how about the president himself? He, that's another kettle of fish. <laughs> but if you look at it also, at that level, you may not have anything to say about that. But for you to say you want to bring in people who will come get the job done. You need people who understand what the times are now as we speak. But look at it. Let me take it from where he just talked about. He talked about Fashola and all of that. What if he's not coming back as, as the Minister of Power? Mm. So we need to look at that also. Did he deliver on his promises? Are they going to break those ministries into, you know, three as it is, so that he can concentrate on one? You know, we look at it now, there's a, a bigger table now, about 43. And for me, I'm interested in the women who are coming on <laughs> as ministers. But it's just seven yes, women so out of 43. Just we have started somewhere. Uh, you know, I hear people complain and all of that. It's one thing to have half the ministers <coughs> women. <coughs> Will they deliver? Okay. That's the big That's question. That's another thing. So let's And that is what seven. is most important. Not just because they're, they're women. Not just because they're women. Delivering. You don't just come there mm. because of your makeup. Or, or when I say makeup now, because you have breasts or what have we. Let it be because of what you have in your head. What can you deliver? Mm. So when people, when I hear people say, oh, just seven women, just say thank God that there are seven women there. <laughs> and my eyes are on those women. Let's see what they can do. There are women who have been there. Some of them delivered. Some messed up. People still talk about it today. But the ones that are there, let's, you know, put them on their toes and see exactly how they deliver. Then again, everyone keeps talking about Festus Keamo. He's young. Someone says, if he's not young, he's 50. I said, well, that's fine. He's young, he's exposed, he's intelligent. Mm. Give him that, op he's gotten the opportunity now. Let's see what he can do. People need to understand that it's no longer about parties, whether you're APC or PDP. Nigeria is the project and we need to run with that. Okay. Oh, all right, uh, before we just go now, when, when it co when, if you're looking forward to names of some persons you are expecting to deliver and all of that, Nigerians had at the back of their minds names when it comes to technocrats, what we call technocrats. Who is a technocrat? Well, the point <laughs> there is people who are core professionals yeah. in, in their field of, of endeavor who brought something on, we, there were names in the past, uh, you, you know, in the last 10 years as the case may be, there were names Nigerians could point to say these were technocrats and they handled. What are you seeing if you have to compare that to this list right now, uh, Jide? Basically, I will say that even when you bring technocrats together, mm. you need to give them a enabling environment to deliver on policies. Okay. And I think that's the challenge of Nigeria. We have too strong an influence that may not reflect national interest. I can tell you uh, quite a number of the great economies we envy in the world mm. are managed by some Nigerians. So for me, it's, I mean, I, I've taken time to study the profile of some of them. The, some, many of them are not directly connected with the ministries they may find themselves. But I started by saying, these ministries are existing. We have permanent secretaries, you know, directors, assistant directors, People on ground, we have the ministries, departments, and agencies that are enabled to carry out the functions of the government. And now, let's come back to the basic assignment of government, according to our constitution, mm -hmm. is the welfare and the security of the people. 
you know, that is the primary purpose of government. And you now have these ministers to collaborate with the executive council because they have to formulate the policies and implement. And if we talk of good governance, it's not just about formulating policies, but implementing them. So I want to see, as this brilliant opportunity is being presented, that my nation migrates from being the capital of poverty hmm. to the capital of prosperity. All right. And we turn around all the bedeviling issues that we are confronting Especially in the society security. right now. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's look, for, let's look forward to a positive uh, new dispensation and see and give all the ministers and the president the benefit of the doubt in the next dispensation. And uh, Gideon Logu, yesterday was your birthday. <laughs> and I, I see th there were lots of cake, I understand, and a lot of shawarma and a lot of uh, pizza. We and thank so God on. for his faithfulness. Interesting. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Thank you very much. <laughs> all right. Thank you very much for coming. Jide, thank you, Ifi. Thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you very much. All, right. all uh, narrows down to the ministerial list of yesterday. In the studio to talk about that is lawyer and public affairs analyst Jide Ologo and journalist Ifi Onyegbule. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. Let's delve Good right in to see how uh, th they are narrated. For the Vanguard, ministerial nominees, yes. New faces as Senate pledges stiff screening. Begins screening today, says no more bow and go for ex-lawmakers. Buhari rejects 18, ex-ministers retains 14, seven states have two slots each, jubilation in Kwara, Akwaibom over Mohamed Saraki and Akpabio. And the blueprint, women, NYCN, APC youth kick as Amechi, Fashola, Akpabio, Saraki make ministerial list. Uh, we are shocked, says Sislak, list merit loyalty driven, that's from the BMO, and the PDP says it's uninspiring. For the Nigerian News Direct, still on the ministerial nominees, it also affirms that Senate will screen uh, Olga, Fashola, Aregweshola, and the 39 others postpones recess. Daily Trust is next. Senate begins screening, it, uh, it says, and postpones uh, recess for the exercise. It also has uh, the tag of the PDP's reaction uh, to the list. The Nation leads with Aregbeshola, Fashola, Onu, others on ministerial list, Alasha Adura, Mamura, Mohamed, Gemisaraki, Adebayo, and Sunday Dare listed. And uh, a further rider on who is who on the list. All right, uh, gentlemen, uh, lady and gentlemen, of course. I'll, be, I'll begin with you, Ifi. For you, what is critical, especially when you look about, you look at uh, those who didn't get to return, the, the, the list is endless. There's mm. Aldo Ogbe, there's the Dan, uh, Mansur Dan Ali, Dan there Bizao, is, uh, Lopo Biri, Heineken, indeed. Heineken it goes Lopo on Biri. and on. But for you, was it more of uh, whether they indeed didn't deserve another chance or was, was it more about uh, it's your turn, it's not, you've done your bit, let's move on to the next um, person. It's two, you know, what are the two things that you've talked about. But remember, at some point, the president said to them, look, you need to give a feedback of the job that you've done. We need to look at what it is that you've done. It's only the president that knows exactly what he looked at, you know, the criteria for having this man come back to uh, office or maybe reappointed or for asking them to go. He's the one who knows why that is. But I think I'm happy that he was able to make that change. There were talks here and there in town to say, don't mind him. He just tells us that something is going to change, but nothing will change. But he's come out with this now and so many of those people who worked with him didn't come back. I still mention the man in agriculture, there were things that were not agreeable with the way he did a lot of things. And I'm looking forward to seeing the new person who's going to step into those shoes, if we look at it. For me, again, the Ministry of Women Affairs was kind of dormant. Nothing was happening there. And I remember when Aneni was there, that's the woman, Excuse you know, me. Josephine Aneni was there. Things were happening. A lot of things were going on. Women were being represented and all that. So for me, I'm going to look out for that. I'm going to see how that runs. I'm waiting to see w which woman will step into those seven. shoes and see exactly how seven. it works. Jide, what's in it for you? We could also follow uh, Ifi's uh, cue now. Looking at the agricultural sector, George Akume is a renowned farmer in Benue State, and so is uh, the former minister, Aldo Ogwe. For Ogwe, what was lacking in, you know, perhaps practicalizing the success of your farm, so to speak, in you know, the bigger picture of agriculture as uh, a, a genuine revenue generator? 
I think in working with people, you need a vision, which is the destination you are aiming at. And that is why Peter Drucker recommended management by objective. What does this government want to achieve? Because it gives you room for evaluation. And halfway down the line, you may choose to evaluate and find out if you are getting the results you desire. For example, the minister, the former minister of agriculture and rural development, Aldo Ogwe himself, at a time, broke down by complaining that there wasn't much performance in that ministry, you know, and that was indicting. And he also mentioned some supportive facilities that should be available. For example, the electricity that was hindering the preservation of the harvest and things like that. So if we are going to achieve results, we must have the supportive infrastructure. And that's why I was disturbed when the president of the Senate recently came out to allude to infrastructural decay, decadence in the country, when we have boasted of massive infrastructure between 2015 and 2018. So it's not really about what you set out to achieve. You, have, you, know, you know, in management by objective, you set smart goals. What do we intend to achieve in the next six months? If you just bring them in and you don't give them goals, you give them a huge room. Don't forget that the ministry is existing. You are just to come, supervise, and of course, network with the executive council right. to formulate policies and implement. So we expect that they will set the ball rolling, that in the next one year, what should be the narrative about Nigeria? For example, the former minister of education also threw his hands in the air concerning the state of education in the country. At the time, state of emergency was declared in almost all the states. And these are challenges plaguing us. And we don't even want to talk about the Ministry of Defense have, with all the available multi, resources. Multi -sector so challenges. it's about action. It's right. about changing the narrative. Let, let's quickly move on now. I'm looking at uh, Wemi Sola Saraki there, a former senator. Mm. For you, how striking was the performance? Is she expected to deliver more than she did as a senator? Well, what, this, is my own, this is my own opinion. And... Um, it is mine, not anyone's. I think her coming on board had something to do with breaking the back, you know, the bones of her brother as it is. And look at it, it happens anywhere in the world. It's about politics and it's a game of numbers. How do you play your game? It's about playing a game and that's exactly what has happened. But then she has come on board. Everyone will look forward to what it is that she's bringing to the table. Remember, People never forget, when you come on, everyone is watching on you. The, the light, the search light is right there on you, or the, the, light, the light is on you, and people want to see what it is that you can do. I don't want, I wouldn't think anyone should write her off as it is, because some may see, okay, she's just been compensated for the job she did by helping to knock her brother off, you know. But then she's coming, she's a woman, she's got brains. There are things she has been able to deliver on. Let's see what she brings to the table. But I would have thought that Isaac Adewale will come back. I was coming to that. I would have thought that he would come back. The man did well, as it is, relatively. Then again, you look at, I'm glad that Fashola came back. That's fine. But will he have the three stripes that he had? Talking L about power, me, works, and housing. Let me run your idea along yeah. with, with G-Days now. What do you think about Isaac Adewale not coming back? Did he fare so well in health? You know, these choices are made in collaboration with the president, who he wants to work with, and the party is the party's interest and by the way we have not even discussed a very paramount interest here which is the ministry of petroleum you know with the president himself as the substantive minister you know and we expect that the narrative will really change in that ministry for the better i don't want to repeat of spending 11 trillion naira in six years on subsidy so we hope that nigeria will leverage on this opportunity Right. to reposition on the side of competence and effectiveness. Today and Ifi, many thanks for your analysis Thank on you. the newspaper review uh, at this time. Lines now, see what the stories are in Nigeria. The ministerial list is out and everyone is talking about it. All the papers are washed with uh, the, the, the comments and who is on the list and who is not on the list. But I have in the studio to do justice to this, lawyer and public affairs analyst, Jide Ologun. He is here as well as journalist, Ifi Onyegbile. It's nice to see you both. Good, Good morning. morning. Thank you. Right, let's start with the uh, Vanguard newspaper. That's where we start from this morning. Ministerial nominees, new faces, a Senate pledges stiff screening. You have that on the front page 
of uh, the Vanga newspaper. Uh, begins screening today. It says no more bow and go for ex-lawmakers. And uh, Buhari rejects 18 ex-ministers, retains 14. Seven states have two slots each. And jubilation in Kwara Akwaibom over Mohammed Saraki and Akwabio, respectively. You have all that on the front page of the Vanguard newspaper. Let's go now to the Nigeria News Direct. That's where we are right now. Uh, ministerial nominees, Senate to screen Oga, Fashola, Arigbeshola, 39 others, postponed recess. You have all that on the front page of the News Direct. Daily Trust is where we go next now. Daily Trust says, uh, Senate begins screening of ministerial nominees today. Uh, senators postpone recess for exercise. List uninspiring. PDP is saying that. You find that on the front page of Daily Trust Blueprint. It's where we now go. And uh, women, NYCN, NP APC Youth Kick, as Mechi, Fashola, Kwabiu, Saraki make ministerial list. A screening begins today. Senate postpones recess. We are shocked. Uh, CISLAC is saying this. And list merit, loyalty driven. Uh, BMO is saying this. And it's uninspiring. PDP is quoted as saying that. Okay. From there, let's go to the Nation newspaper now. Nation newspaper now says uh, Arik Bishola, Fashola, Onu, others on ministerial <coughs> list. And uh, Alasho Adura, Mamora, Mohammed Bemisaraki, and Debayo, Dari listed they're all on the list so it's quite interesting there new names and so on you find that on the front page of the nation newspaper the nigerian tribune is where we go next now ministerial nominees senate suspends recess to screen keamo mamora apabu magashi dari 38 others uh, ogbe dalong kachiku danali adewole udoma 11 others dropped a ministerial list, uninspiring, and the waste of time. PDP is saying that. And some ministerial nominees are fantastically corrupt. Yakasai is saying this. And based on the news analysis inside the newspaper, you will see nominees and their antecedents, what they have done, what pedigree they have, what qualifications they have, and all of that. You'll find that on the front page of uh, the Nigerian Tribune. All right, gentlemen. Uh, when this list came out and people saw the collection of names on, on the list, people started doing permutation. Who should... Who should be where? <laughs> who should go into what ministry? Who is best? And then who should be retained? Uh, you know, in, in the ministry they were before mm. and all of that. I wonder what you have heard and I wonder what uh, your thought is. If you let me start with you now. Yes, um, I want us to look at the, the, the petroleum mm. uh, ministry as it is. Um, I foresee some kind of upset there. Okay. I don't know if the president still wants to be the man at the <laughs> helm right there. It could be. Mm. But you have four persons right there. Think about Akpabiu. Think about Timmy Press Silva. Think about Agba. And you think about um, Uchioga. That's mm. the man who plays in the, the, the oil and gas you know, sector. When you look at these four persons, what's going to happen? Are they going to pick one person and say you're going to be a junior minister as it is if the president is going to be at the helm of affairs. So we need to look at that. When you look at um, power, housing and works as it is, would the stripe still be there for Babatunde Fashola or they're going to split it and say, look, um, Arek Bashola, you take this What's and that, housing? you understand, <laughs> so that he can focus on power. So all of these things will come up. For me, I'm hoping that I see a Pauline Talon as the Minister for Women Affairs. I'm very particular about that ministry. Okay. Many would say, why the Ministry of Women Affairs? Why is there no Ministry for Men Affairs? <laughs> well, that's another kettle of fish. But I think that she will do well in that place because she's got some, some experience. All right. Mm. Today, I wonder what you think. What are permutations could be? You see, it may not help me going into permutations okay. because I expected that the government must have a template of who to key into some relevant uh, ministries going on competence and um, performance because when you do screening you check the antecedents of the candidates and then um, of course as it is now uh, there are jobs to be done and i expect that we probably even move beyond the concept of having round pegs in round holes mm. 
you know, one of my mentors in public relations came up with the concept of having square pegs in round holes to restructure the round holes to become square holes. And that's what technology <laughs> did. That's what technology that's, that's did. A new, that's a new exactly. concept. Exactly. <laughs> the, the whole may not remain round. Mm. So we are looking for those who can change the narrative. Obviously, we need, we need help mm. as a nation, particularly concerning how we are viewed globally. So I expect that the, the screening issue focus more on who can deliver. She just mentioned a critical ministry. I know uh, Mr. Uche Chuku Oga. I know he's done well in uh, so well. oil and gas. He's an accomplished business personality and quite a number of them like that. Mm. If Even Aquabio. Aquabio has been in yes, yes, yes. some of the oil But you see, in before, the case of Aquabio, no. even his people are saying we are not in support of this uh, nomination. <laughs> so you, and the constitution still says that sovereignty belongs to the people. So mm -hmm. you need people who will represent people. Let me put it that way. Because we are still no, in, 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 in a democracy. But in this case, they are not elected. So they don't necessarily have to represent the people. It you is see, the president. By the, and the, constitution, the constitution gives that power to the president to choose those Whoever who can work he feels. with I, the, so long so long as there is somebody from a state or I all have the states said are represented it, when you have the privilege of leadership mm. you are as important as those who work with you okay i throw this challenge this morning if i ask you to name eight ministers in the second republic that worked with alaji shehushagari you are not likely to recall more than two or three mm. but you won't forget alaji shehushagari and that is why my starting point is that what vision has the president for the country? They're going to work it with him. The ministers are there to supervise. Are we saying now that in the next two years, all the federal roads in Nigeria are road-worthy, motor-worthy, good to, to drive the economic processes? Are we saying now that in nine months' time, Nigeria is the second safest place to live on earth? Mm. So, so those are things those are that should... That, exactly. Yeah. That right. should drive, if not... It will just be business All unusual. Right. So uh, we want great business uh, unusual, mm. you know, <laughs> with those who are coming in. Square pegs in round holes. Yeah, the oh, new wow. wines and the old wines. It's a new concept <laughs> I'm trying to imagine. <laughs> All right. Uh, great task ahead, I must say. And the Senate is going to hit the ground running with the screening today. So let's wait and see how, at the end of the day, who, who fits into what. But well, whatever it is, yes. uh, Mike, please, before we just run off. Um, education and health, mm. they need to put, let's forget what Jide just talked about. We okay. need square pegs in square holes. Square. Education <laughs> okay. and health. Not, not, not square there. pegs in no, round holes. The holes will get The holes will, holes. okay, fine. <laughs> 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 thank you, Ify, for thank coming you, on the program. Jide Ologo, thank you very much. God bless Nigeria. All right. That's